sketch a graph of y is equal to 2 cotangent x plus pi over 2. So first off, we're going to recognize the transformations by comparing it to the original cotangent function. And we know that the general form for transformations is we have an a value out in the front multiplied by cotangent, and inside we have b times x minus h, and then plus k. In this case, all we have is an a value, which represents the vertical stretch or vertical expansion or compression, and an h value, which represents the horizontal shift or the phase shift. And so here we have vertical expansion by a factor of 2, because there are a value is 2, and also we have our h value is negative pi over 2, because x minus negative pi over 2 is x plus pi over 2, and because it's a negative value, we're shifting to the left, pi over 2 units. And so what we can do is map all the po uh, points from the original function to the new function by subtracting pi over 2 from their x-coordinate, because we're moving it to the left, and multiplying all the y-coordinates by 2 because we're expanding the y-coordinate because we're expanding vertically. So if you plug in, I plugged in x from negative pi over 2 all the way to pi over 2, and I found the y value, just the cotangent of that value, and where cotangent is 1 over tangent, and then I subtracted pi over 2 from each x-coordinate, as you can see here, and all the y-coordinates I multiplied by 2, and you can see we have an asymptote at negative pi over 2 on a new function. So here's the five points I plotted here, here, the asymptote, here, and here. And you, can, you know that the period of the tangent function is pi, so it's going to repeat itself every pi. And so you can, we know there's an uh, asymptote here at negative pi over 2. You just add pi to find the next asymptote. Similarly, if I have this point, I just add pi to find the next 0, or this point, I just add pi, etc. And that, that way, this, that, that, this is one period, but if you want to draw multiple periods, you just repeat the points.